Today we are going to develop a YouTube UI clone using ChatGPT. Then later, we shall use Laravel to develop a full YouTube clone using ChatGPT. We are going to decompose our steps into small ones while feeding them into ChatGPT. This will be the final product that we shall develop. See how amazing it is. We can further connect it to the back end using Laravel PHP framework still in ChatGPT. These are the different results we have been getting and kept on refeeding them into ChatGPT to have the feel of version as you saw above. Download a demo video of two images that you will use, since ChatGPT cannot connect to the web to get you links to these media. The rest of the code HTML, CSS, and JavaScript will be created by ChatGPT. We shall also use ChatGPT to debug our code. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel for HD versions of all these videos, and longer videos. Let us get started with the development. First copy the link to the YouTube homepage as we are going to develop it first. Open ChatGPT and type the following command. Using Bootstrap for JavaScript and HTML, write code for the following website, youtube.com. Add Ajax and other necessary features. As you can see ChatGPT is generating the HTML code for us and linking it to Bootstrap 4. Tell it to continue until you see the close tags of the body and HTML. It is complete. Now we have further information being given to us to have the best results. We shall come back to that step. Now let us save our code and see what we have developed so far. Go to a folder and create a file, name it index.html. Then copy and paste all the code into the file and save everything. Let us now preview the first results and see what we have developed. As you can see, we now have a basic layout, no functionality, no video thumbnail images, and colors are far from a YouTube clone. Though now we have a backbone. Let us give ChatGPT a command to revise the same code and add more features. Go to ChatGPT and type the following command. Update the code above to add image placeholders and placeholder thumbnails. Then place enter and see ChatGPT updating the code. As you can see, our code is being updated. Wait until it finishes and at every time it stops, just give it a continue command until all the code is complete. Now our final product is here, let us again save it in an index.html file and preview it after. Copy all the code and paste it into a new index.html file you have created. Now let us preview the code and see our results. As you can see, this is our update, but we still have a long way to go. This time at least new features have been added. You can see the up next sidebar, the search bar looks nice, and the search button. We also have some image placeholder thumbnails placed in position for videos, just to bring out the look of YouTube. Let us see how responsive it is on different screen sizes. Just inspect the code in Chrome and try reducing the page width. As you can see, our UI is responsive to different screens. So far we are hoping smoothly and everything is going as planned. Scroll down and see how content is organized on the homepage. You see we are far from having the YouTube clear look but just building blocks. Let us give it an update with YouTube colors, SVG, and other UI elements. Type the following in chat GPT. Update the above code with YouTube colors, dummy descriptions, views, likes, dislikes, and icons. Now our code is being given a review with our requests being implemented. Just keep telling chat GPT to continue until we have results. Then still copy and paste the final code into an index.html file and save. Now let us preview the code and see the results we have. As you can see, the red YouTube color has been used to add some colors. Does not look nice. We shall change it. Also, note that we do not have a left sidebar as it is on YouTube. We need to add it as well. Go to chat GPT and type the following command. Update the above code with YouTube like sidebar with all the features on the YouTube sidebar. As you can see, the code is being updated again to add the features. I told you that decomposing your problem into small manageable parts will help you achieve your desired results. Now our code has been updated, let us save it again in another index.html file and compare it to the rest. Now let us preview it and see what we have. See that the code has been updated with sidebar links as well. We do not have the right layout though but don't worry. We shall ask ChatGPT to fix the layout issue of our sidebar. This is going to be in part 2 of this video. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, also hit the like button. Let us once again review the different results we have. Let us open our index files. See our final result, it is not complete but looks promising. 
see the different stages we have gone through. Thanks for watching.